Hello and welcome to the Daily Meal for Monday the 6th of September 2021 And today's Meal News How I told you yesterday that um, Tyler Berry was injured And he would have had a scan He would go to have a scan today And he's had a scan and it's not good news It is um quite quite bad so this is from news at then.co.uk this is an attacker on his way back to Millwall after cruel injury blow at Hartlepool United Tyler Burry is facing a lengthy spell out injured his lone club Hartlepool United have confirmed Burry went off with a hamstring injury in a 65th minute of Hartlepool's 1-0 defeat to Tranmere Rovers on Saturday is a major flow of a blow for Burry and for the two clubs after he'd scored three goals this season during his lone spell in League 2 we always said Burry will return to his parent club for treatment. And this is the tweet they announced. This is on Twitter. And it says, so, um, Millwolf quote tweeted a Hartlepool United FC tweet. And so I'll, I'll read the Hartlepool one. Hartlepool United tweeted out, uh, after receiving a scan this morning, the club can conf confirm that Tyler Burry will face a lengthy spell on the sidelines. Tyler will see a surgeon tomorrow where more information on his injury will become available. Everyone at the club wishes Tyler a healthy and speedy recovery. Um, and then so Millwall FC have added to that when, when they've quote tweeted that Tyler will receive treatment back at Millwall before returning to Hartlepool. Now, here's the thing. Um, Tyler's loan was until January the 1st. And they did say that this could be, he could be out up to three months. And he's seen a surgeon tomorrow. So what's the surgeon? Surgeons, what do surgeons do? They cut people open. That's what they want to do. Um, that's what they live and die for, cutting people open. Might seem a bit gruesome, but that's their specialty, you know. So, are they going to cut him open and do they need to sew his hamstring together? Do they need to cut him open and glue it together? Do, do they need to do something? Um, it's all a bit, um, yes. Like I said, it's a shame. It's a real shame. But they said he's going to return to Hartlepool. Um... Is that because Hartlepool are on the hook for the wages until January, even if he is injured? Um, they have to say that. I assume that may be the case. It's like, like we had the same with Zahor. He got injured. I assume we were still paying for that. And I imagine it's, it's with Hartlepool as well. It's like, it's a shame, but, you know, he, he's technically your player, so you're, you're the one still paying him. Um, but... I, I don't know how it works, but so if he, if his loan was only until January first, maybe no. I assume that's that was with a, an eye to extending it. So they do it initially till January, and if if all three parties agree, the player and the both of the club say, well, you can stay till the end of the season if you want. Maybe that means he goes back and carries on until the end of the season when he recovers from his injury, or maybe in. We might actually need him at mere wall. Um, you don't know. You don't know. Um, now, there's a big jump between League 2 and, and Championship, but uh, we might need him then, or he'll go back to Hartlepool United on loan. So that was announced today. Um, yeah, such a shame. Such a shame. Um, now, we have this story that pops up tonight from The Courier. Dot co UK. That's the Dundee Courier newspaper in uh, Dundee in Scotland, of course. And they say this is an opinion piece, I believe. And they say Hayden Muller, semicolon, on loan mill centre back can be the man to replace Jason Kerr at St Johnston. It will fall to somebody else in the St Johnston team to replace Jason Kerr, the captain. Now, what happened? Why do they need to replace Jason Kerr? Because Jason Kerr was sold on transfer deadline day to Wigan Athletic. And Jason Kerr, I believe he was the player who scored uh, the winning goals in both cup finals last season. He is a pretty um, important player for them. Uh, I believe he's is he right wing back. I believe that's that's where he plays or, or right midfield. Not too sure. 
Um, so, but Hayden Muller is ready to show he can be the man to replace Jason Kerr, the player. The on loan mill centre back has the same attacking instincts as the recently deprived skipper. Against Samir, and he was able to use them to good effect with Kerr at his side. Now the task will be to do it in a new look back free as the Perth side seek to put the deadline day loss of former Scotland under 21 international and Ali McCann behind them. It's a long season and now is the time for me to take my chance and show the gaffer why I need to stay in the team, said Muller, who's incisive surge up the pitch in the last minute and Paisley earns Saints a free kick from which Glenn Middleton struck the crossbar. We speak, we speak about stepping in with the ball a lot and creating overloads in the field. I thought I managed to do that well in the second half against St Mirren. I used to be a midfielder back when I was 14 or 15, so it's a nat trait that I've naturally got. That that um, that does happen a lot. Um, you wouldn't believe it. Um, some of the defenders in the professional game, they're actually star strikers in their youth teams. Around the age of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then they get into the professional game. They sign for a club. And the clubs have a look at them and say, mm, maybe you should play right back. Maybe you should, you should play left back. Maybe you should play centre back. And they've been playing as like star, star strikers for their team because they're usually bigger, stronger, more athletic. And they can boss, boss the team with the ball. Um, but when they get into the pro game, um, get to a pro team, um, they're pretty much on an even footing with all the other very, very good players that were picked up from other very good youth teams. So it's they get moved around and slotted in, say, well, you play here, you try playing here, you try playing here. Um, and that's even happened to a few goalkeepers. They were, they were outfield players. And then it kind of, um, realise that they they want that good outfield compared to the other players at at that level, so they gave it going goal and then they end up doing uh, get get being professional goalkeepers, which um, yeah so it happens it happens a lot that defenders don't actually start out as defenders uh, when they're kids they they're actually really good attacking players. So I used to be a midfield back when I was fourteen or fifteen, so it's a natural trait that I've got naturally got. Uh, that is a bonus and it always helps the team out when you can create an overload in midfield. It's something I'll keep on doing. I would back myself to play centre-back, right-back or centre midfield. I am confident. Hopefully I can build on my performances and help the team get the three points next time round. So next time round is on Saturday at 12.30. The reason why it's on 12.30 because they're playing at home to Rangers. Glasgow Rangers and it's on Sky Sports so there's a very good chance that Hayden Muller will be playing so if you have if you are um, a Sky Sports subscriber and you want to watch a game at 12 30 if you're not going to West Brom uh, the West Brom away game you want to maybe have a look at uh, how Hayden Muller gets on uh, if he starts there's no guarantee they will but there's likelihood now that Two of the defenders have gone from St Johnston. Um, yeah, and see how he does against probably, arguably the best team in Scotland at the minute, Glasgow Rangers. Um, yeah. Uh, boy to man. The t this time last year, Saints got the benefit of young middle defender transitioning from age group to first team football before, before returning to South London. Doing the Danny McNamara will be Muller's goal. When I do eventually go back to Millwall, hopefully I can slot in and do my thing, he said. I want to learn men's football. It is a lot different to under 23 football. It's all about the three points and not as, as much about developing players. You go out to win three points and that is it. So far it's been tough, but I think I picked up a lot in the three games I've played. A few Saints players uh, have been on international duty since the last league game, but Muller believes the rest of the group will benefit from a match-free fortnight and the end of the Thursday-Sunday work routine. Hopefully we can get to Europe again by doing well in the Cups and finishing as high up in the league as possible, said the 19-year-old, who has started three of Saints' four premiership fixtures so far. We had not been used to playing two times a week, Thursday and Sunday. It was hard on the boys and a challenge. We really need to recover well and then go again. This break should have done us the world of good. We were annoyed. We couldn't head into it with a win, but we'll come back, back refreshed. 
and it is a, like I said it is a big game it's probably arguably be the biggest game um, Rangers at home two big games in Scotland so from the outside looking in I'm sure they have the local rivals I have no idea who that would be in Perth would that be Dundee uh, I know I really, literally don't know Scottish geography that well to be honest yeah but I imagine in terms of the playing the best teams in the league it would be Glasgow uh, Celtic and Glasgow Rangers and we will see we will see how he gets on uh, it's on Sky Sports if you want to watch it and like I said it is an international break and that is it today's video not a lot going on in Millwall news thank you for watching goodbye